This is it. Dude! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. Today <laughs> is Saturday, July 29th, 2023, and this is episode number 26 of Running with Scissors, Stitching with Jane and Julie. I'm Jane. And I'm Julie. And when I was in the ladies' room, I ran those numbers through my head, and I was saying August 29th. So, I, yeah, I can't believe next week is August already. Oh. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Oh, my it's gosh. It's good to see you again. It, it's good. Hello. Hi. How, I'm, I'm Jane. It's so nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. Oh, <laughs> good Lord. Where have you been? Ah, terrible, terrible, terrible. So, how do we do this? Welcome, everybody. <laughs> good to see you again. Yes. Um... We have a couple of uh, special thank yous um, to folks that shouted us out since the last yes, time we saw you. Yes. So the, uh, many thanks to the Pink Stitchers, to the Floss Boss and Cousins, and to Pam and Steph for mentioning us. Mm -hmm. um, happy birthday, Chris the Camping Stitcher, and all of you that celebrate birthdays in July. And happy two-year Flossiversary to the Bougie Stitchers, oh, Nancy and Jenny. Many yes. more. Many oh my more gosh. Anniversaries. I can't believe it's been two years. I know. Yeah. It goes so fast. It does. Well, I can't it really believe does. it's been a year for us. No. I can't I can't believe that it's Saturday and we're sitting here together. So. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we are we're here in misbelief. You might so. want to medicate because this yeah. might be a wild one. <laughs> um. I, I told Jane, I feel like a squirrel on a hamster wheel of floss tube. Wherever it spins, that's where we're going to land, and that's I'm where we're going to go. It. Yeah. Ready? Okay. So, I'm just dying to know, <laughs> have you had any time to stitch anything? Oh, Julie, thank you for asking. <laughs> Which I'm so glad to, to see all of because I, I, I really have no clue. I do not like going without seeing you. I do not like going without talking with you in person. We do texting, which is yeah. gets us through the day. Yeah. But it has just been too long, and I have no idea what she stitched on. I don't think you know if I've stitched at all. I don't even know what I've stitched on. It would be a surprise <laughs> to both of us. I'll just empty some bags. And well, see let's what's get in there. started. Right. Wow, kind of bossy. I am bossy today. <laughs> I really kind of put the law down. We'd still be out in the green room chatting if it was. My sister's for... here visiting, so it's like a little <laughs> coffee clutch. Yeah, for my boldness. <laughs> this is. A uh, floral motif sampler by the Scarlet House. Oh. And I am doing this on 40 count fabric. Prairie grass from <laughs> Seraphim. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. And I'm using the called for um, fancy flosses. Dude. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> why did I cut this? Why did I get this fabric so large? Because it's a huge piece. Oh, I need to, um, oh, it's a milestone. I need to fold it this way. Oh. And here's my progress. <laughs> wow, you went down. Yeah, I got down to the bottom, oh. um, left corner. That's the, that's the that's, size of it then. Yeah, that's oh. the size of it lengthwise. There's this little bit, there's still a little bit of girth on the top. It, Girth is this way, right? The side by side. It is for me. <laughs> it is my hips. My girth is you still have side some, by side. You still have some hip room left to stay. Um, yeah, I still have some <laughs> hip room left. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm, petite, is, I'm enjoying the petite little stitches. Well, can I see? Or is it just... Oh gosh. You know. So there. I would like to ooh and ah. Oh, oh my. Oh, okay. Please do. Do. Uh, ooh, oh, oh my. I love the colors. They're so, they're um, soft, but yet bold. Yeah. In a real warm way. That's a lot to unpack. <laughs> That's my. They're soft yet bold in a real warm way. And it, like it. kind of has a nutty, oaky smell. <laughs> it's got some umami. It's got some umami. Beautiful, beautiful. Now Thank I'm, you. I know your bag has been closed. There you go. No, I waited. Oh, okay. I waited. If I don't put the stuff away now, y'all, it'll just be a disaster. Yeah. And I'll okay. have to play. There's that. Her animal match bags. And then. <clears throat> oh. I 
got to get those tags on my bags. I got to use my bags. That rhymed. I know. Tags on my bags. I got to use my bags. This is a shepherd's bush. Ooh. Full heart. Now I get to see how much you've done. You said you worked on it. I did work on it. I, uh, I, uh, are fed there the, sheep in the meadow? I fed the sheep. Ooh. And here's my <gasps> progress. Now that, with my keen eye, I'm saying you did the grass up and down. I did the grass up and down. Some would call that yep. vertical. I did it. I did it horizontally or girthwise <laughs> for the darker grass, and then I did the other one vertically. The height. So yes, <laughs> Wuthering Heights. So I have to fill in the grass still, and then there are some specialty stitches that go on the sheep, and I think there's a section of grass that has maybe two rows of specialty stitches. And a few little cute um, clay buttons. And you do have you do have a box coming in the late fall. I ordered a box. Cool. Um, an eight inch sh round shaker box, and the um, gentleman that makes the boxes is spending the summer into the fall hiking the trails in the Appalachian Mountains. Oh, man. I know how awesome is that? I was sound? hoping he'd go to Ohio. <laughs> Well, everyone has their own idea of adventure, Julie. True. Sometimes the adventure for me is just trying to refill my water glass during the day. Aye, okay. aye, aye. And then this is what? This is mm, I don't know. Spring Moon by oh. Plum Street Samplers. And I am doing this on uh, 32 count Steinbeck by Needle and Flax. Mm. All of the called for using one strand over two fabric threads. Wow. And here's my progress. Wow, wow, wow. It's a lot of blue. I love it. I love the oh, blue. Oh, the pattern doesn't appear to be that blue. Oh, I guess it does. Wow. And I know um, a lot of folks, and I used to be one of those folks too, use two strands when over two, when stitching on 32 count, that would also be beautiful. I think because I do so much shepherd's bush and all the kits are one strand of fiber over two fabric threads, I've gotten used to the um, lighter coverage on the 32 count. Um, plus it's hand dyed fabric, so I think mm -hmm. it's probably closer to I don't know, like a 33 or 34 cup. Yeah, it shrinks. It tightens up the weave yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's very nice. So, okay, so where's that? Don't be rushed. Don't be rushed. Let's pace ourselves. We've got a long show today. <laughs> well, you get in this up a little quicker. I know I'm heavy with the rules because I've been out of control. My life's been so out of control that I feel like I have to control how somebody unzips something. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll mind my own business. <laughs> this is modern oh, folk, folk embroidery. Mo yeah, what's for lunch? Modern folk embroidery. IAB1817, a.k.a. the Rose Bush Sampler. And I am doing this on 36 Count Tefra from Cedar River Linen and Design. Yeah, um, using the Ross, <laughs> using the Roxy Floss Co. Um, uh, fiber oh. pack, and here is my. Purse. Oh, wow! You really, yeah. really advanced on that. It's so beautiful. That I could stitch on nothing else. Absolutely stunning. Does this help at all? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a beautiful Kind stitch. of speechless. Can I look at that one? Yeah, absolutely. Before you fold it up? Yep, absolutely. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm getting <laughs> close to being able to turn the corner on um, the right side of the sampler. On if the you're, bottom? If you're looking mm -hmm. at it. Yeah, I'm close to the corner here. Yeah. Um, that would be the southwest corner you'd be going. Okay. If, yeah. I should know that because it's... We've had some severe weather, and that's the southwest corner of the basement. This is where yeah. you're supposed to take shelter. That, and you're supposed to bring this with. Yeah. I like it. Mm. It's it my is idea of survival. beautiful, I just, Jane, just beautiful. I just love it. I really oh. wasn't so sure about the yellow. Oh, no. When I first started doing it, because the yellow seemed kind of mustardy and out of place. 
But I think mm -hmm. because the rest of it is so muted, it that pop really, of yellow yeah, is really, really cool. Yeah. Kind of, I don't know. I'll try not to be so descriptive, but yeah, wow. Let's just. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, you, have to, you should oh, fold in on itself. Hold in on itself. I'm sorry. Brenda would not approve, but oh. we'll put it in here. Sorry. <laughs> Shove it in there. Yeah, she's. Why is this so wrinkled? No. Okay. Because yeah. Julie folded it the wrong way. Um. This is Shepherd's Bush Sail Away. Mm. And I'm using the kit fabric and the kit fibers. Love and I it. hate to say it, but I kind of heard the rattling of knobs. Yeah, I took them off ahead of time. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh my God, there are loose knobs. There, there's knobs are in the loose <laughs> in that bag. But they're contained, right? Yes, okay. they're contained in the bag. <laughs> not, they're not feral. <laughs> and here is my progress. Oh my God. Gosh, that is stunning. It's such a fun. Does something go stitch. in the middle of the the wreath motif or not? Um, just Tina gives you the option. She chose to put her initials in there. Okay. Um, or you can leave it blank. Um, I am not a terribly creative person, so if left are you gonna put Tina's initials in there? Then? I, may, I may as a tribute to Tina. I may put my daughter's initials in there. Um. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah. It'll have to, it'll be a game time decision. Okay. But I had a hard time putting this down and yeah. the rose bush sampler down. My gosh. Beauteous. <clears throat> Laying down oh, some serious goes. stitches there, Jane. I'm exhausted. Okay, last cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did do a little hardinger that I'll show you later. So and rumor has it. There may be a finish or two. A finish? I don't want spoiler like, alert. Like spoiler da, alert. Like da, 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 da. Do we have to announce it? I think we there should be some fanfare. Should there? Yeah, okay. This is Blackbird Yellow Submarine. And I am doing this on 36 count summer storm by Seraphim. And um, I am using a combination of the DMC conversion and the fancy flosses. Oh. And I have a thread. Oh. No one be alarmed. You've started this, the mothership. And here's my <laughs> progress. Oh, the fabric. Love the fabric. Yeah, the fabric is fun. Yes. Love the needle minder. Mine's, I put my needle minder on my Dazar lamp arm. Yeah. Just so I could pretend like I'm in the club. Nice. Yeah. Yep. And now Fine. the fish in its farts are swimming toward something. <laughs> so. What's underneath? A gear? Oh, just a little. A little, like a little, a little motif. like a quilt star motif. A little motif. Yeah. Awesome. So that's fun. Oh, how fun! You really stitched on a variety of things. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Mo the most time spent on rosebush sampler and sail away, definitely. But I tried to touch. Everything. I, um, I'm struggling with, you know, part of it, some of my pieces I'm using a hoop, which mm -hmm. is new for me. I'm, I have never used hoops before. Some of them I'm using clue snaps, cue snaps, and, um, and uh, one piece of the scroll bars. And I just can't settle. On what you like best. On what I like. Well, I think each project presents itself. You know, if only it would. If only it would say, Jane, I'm a Q snap kind of project, and I would be like, okay, I hear what I'm, I'm picking up what you're laying down. Here's some Q snaps. No, I think they come to you undecided, like, hey, whatever. Like, Run with scissors, do whatever. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, you're not really helpful. Um, I think I like. The intimacy of the hoop, if that makes sense, you hold it closer to you. I like the way my stitches are. Um, I also like the scroll bar because even though it might be have girth, mm -hmm. um, you can pick the extender. Right. You know, so you you can pick you how know, intimate you want how to intimate be. you want to be. And um, 
I'm not really liking you today. <laughs> yeah, keep, get out of my personal space. Um, a couple of pieces I'm trying on 11 by 17 Q snaps. I gave myself a concussion several times by mm -hmm. doing something and then bonk. It's kind of like <clears throat> that's kind of like stitching on a, a cutting board that size. I think it's it kind of is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So those are my whoops. Whoops. I think I actually spit. <laughs> if this is an HD, mark the time. Let's see. Let me tell you what time. I don't know. I can't see anything out of these. Do you have to focus it? Well, yeah. What are we? Or what time are we at? Are we good? I can't see. Okay. <clears throat> well, you better hone in on that. I'll put it in the description box. <laughs> Look for the spook at whatever time. Oh, oh, I'm terrible. I forgot to move my table over when I got up the second time well, Julie, to start the video. Let me ask you. Yes. Have you done any stitching since we were together last? Minimal. But thanks for asking. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. You know, you're really missed. I'm going to give you throughout the video all the greetings that people wanted me to extend oh. you. So, Hello. So nice. Hi. Cool. What are we doing? Well, oh. and, you know, we should thank everybody for all of their kind comments yeah. and your concern. And yeah. we really appreciate it. Yes. We read all of them. And we missed you terribly. Yeah. This was very hard for us to do this today because we thought, we don't know what we're doing. It's like we were Starting gone. Over. We were gone too long. And I was afraid that we would sit there and go, but it seems to be Should we show good. them what that would have looked like? What? That wouldn't have been good. They wouldn't have tuned in for that. <laughs> Not very really long. But hang on. Remember, oh, is it my turn now? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Last episode, we left you with Julie, that's moi, going on my first day retreat. Now, I've been a vendor. I've known lots of stitchers. I've done lots of classes, but I've never been like a, a retreat person. A regular peak. No. And I went by myself. Or was I by myself? Because I was gone for 31 hours and that was two follow-up phone calls while driving and a video chat at night in the hotel room. <laughs> so was I really alone? You weren't. No. Tom, he called me on the car phone and goes, so how you doing? I'm fine. Where you at? I said, you know where I'm at because you're tracking me. I'm at a wayside rest. <laughs> See, you're so much better when I used to... Um... Um, like go up to Duluth by myself, which is about a two and a half, three hour drive from here. Um, it's on a major interstate and I would be listening to like photography podcasts or whatever it is. And my husband would call and he'd be like, Hey, how's it going? Good. Where are you? <laughs> I have no idea. But he knows cause he Google stocks us. We're all on that tracking yeah. thing. So he knows, I guess it's I like kinda... invisible fencing for I... the... <laughs> For the, for the spouses. For the Norton family. <laughs> I could have gone incognito. Ooh. I guess I could have. But anyways, I digress. So I went to Welcome Stitchery. They had a one-day stitching retreat. So I, I went down there all by myself. And it was really fun. I um, the, My second phone call from Tom was, what you doing? I said, well, my, as you know... My exit was closed, so I'm going down That's six right. miles, taking the next exit, crossing over, going through a cornfield. I think I'm coming up through Iowa, but <laughs> I got this. I, I think I'll get there. And it was so, it really was fun. Um, the store was kind of a buzz. There were probably, I think, throughout the day, there, I'm going to say 16 stitchers oh, that were that's there. That's a great size group. Um, Justine has a room down the hall that we could all gather in. And um, I was in the shop, and all of a sudden, this woman came to the doorway, and she stood there, and she was just, like, frozen. And announced that she was in fan shock. And had to turn around and walk out and then come back in again. Oh, how sweet. Love you, Mona. What a gal. Your biggest fan. She, my biggest fan. She was so sweet. And she then came back with her sister on FaceTime. Because <laughs> she could Did a come. cameo. Actually, Nicole lives just like four blocks from us. 
Really? Yes. So isn't that fun? So um, that was great. So I've got a few things written down because I just don't want to forget a thing because that was on the 27th of June. It was after our last video. I think so. Oh, God, that seems a long time ago. <clears throat> when I got there, I walked in oh, the room, Lord. and they were like, hi, oh, hi. And I was think, I think I was more in awe of them, but they were like, wow. And they're like, oh, you we, are we real. miss Jane, we miss Jane. And I said, but I brought her with. <laughs> and they put you, the gals put you, Justine had on this really cute centerpiece quilt square. She had a tall ball jar with ribbons and stuff on it, decorated, and it was the orc jar. Yeah. So you got put in the jar in the center of the table, so you were the keeper of the orcs. I often, oh, I got promoted. <laughs> yes. The keeper of the orcs. Yeah, I it like was it. so much fun. So they all, you know, everyone's like, oh, say hi to Jane. You know, and so, Hi. yeah, so that was really kind of fun. Have you ever seen that video on Instagram or Twitter where people take their little, like, little infants and there's this high squeaky voice and it's like, Oh, yes. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. So the reason, Hello. the reason why we were there. Wow. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Bad Jane. <laughs> The reason why we were there all gathering is because Shelia and EJ from Sunshine Stitchers Floss Tube in Florida had come to do a tour of Minnesota and they were there stitching for the day. So when they arrived, that was really fun for all of us to meet yeah. the two of them. And oh, um, we said, oh, well, you know, we were all kind of going between the shop and the room and the shop and the room and then of course when someone came back in the room with a bag it's like everyone stopped what they were doing yeah. show us what you got and i'm like so they did a show and tell and while you're showing what you bought people are getting up and leaving to go buy the same thing yeah. so it was really fun i i was so worried about not feeling you know, because I didn't know any of them, but you were right. Mm -hmm. You said we all shared the passion of cross stitch. Yeah. We were all there for the same reason, and we're all just girls. Yeah. And so then we decided to go to lunch. So we were going to go to Average Joe's. We were going to walk. <gasps> so I'm like, okay. So a group of us got together, and as we all left the stitching room, someone goes, stop, don't forget Jane. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so I doubled back, and I got her. And I had you in my hand, and I'm like, I'm going to feel kind of like, okay, a dope walking down Main Street with Especially you on the with side. That mug on the no, stick. but I'm like, it's like I felt like I'd be in a parade or something. So I <laughs> said, wait a minute. I doubled back, and I I looked at this. You got the protective sheath? I called it the travel condom. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Manila envelope. I couldn't think of the word sheath. I said, I gotta put her in her, tra her travel condom. I well, it also doubles as, you know, I'm very sensitive to the sun. Well, so. yeah, and germs. I wanted you to be well oh, yeah. protected. Be so, immunocompromised. You know, yeah. Compromised. <laughs> so, I don't have the picture with me, but I'll put it on Instagram because we don't know how to put it here. But um, you sat at the head of the table. You were in my purse, like this in my purse at the head of the table. And uh, we shared, I hope that was okay, um, we shared a BLT cheeseburger and tots. Yum. She went kind of heavy on the tots. <laughs> no surprise. <laughs> so, yeah, that was really Julie fun. Julie and I have gone out to lunch before <laughs> when there's been fries or tater tots or even sometimes mashed potatoes. Yep. We love our cars. Suddenly, Julie would be like, can I ask you something? Sure. Why is your fork in my mashed potatoes? Oh, I'm sorry. Why is your little toothpick in my tots? That's what you know. what's happening. So, but that was really fun. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? certainly missed. Oh, thank yeah, you so much. I do love you. So, let me see. I think that, oh, <laughs> you know that guy? That you were kind of um, challenged with on the phone that just was relentless. Oh, I, I remember. That's well, that same guy scheduled a meeting at 3 o'clock on Saturday, on Friday. Well, my new friend Mona was reminding me a little bit of that guy because we would be talking and she'd lean over and she'd go, So, Julie, how about that cherry cherry kid? <laughs> 
I'm like, and I, I don't know, you, you announced there was one, it sold, how about the publication? And I'm like, you know, I, I really haven't had time to look, you know, and about an hour later, she'll say, now, that cherry cherry, <laughs> I go, I said to her, you're kind of reminding me of that guy Jane was on the phone I with. I love her persistence, Mona. <laughs> she was. Taking one so, for the team. Yep. Cherry, cherry, there kid. There it is. I was able, I, I can't, I will not even go there, what it was like to uh, try to reproduce that. But there are cherry, cherry kits available. And um, I did my best to reproduce it. Um, it was a real challenge. What do you expect? Well, that, I, I Is this know. a stunt? No, I think that's the real one. I'm not sure. It had legal size papers, or it had 11 by 14s in it, so no, that's not the full thing. But it was a font issue, you oh, know, with each, um, with each Microsoft update, oh. you lose the compatibility of the charting program. And this was done in 2011. But I was able, for the sake of Mona, to get this together. Mona, yeah. Mona. <laughs> And I was not going to just print one for Mona, so I Cherry printed some. Cherry baby. Cherry. Won't you come That's Sherry. This oh. is Cherry. My bad. <laughs> I, ap I apologize. I started that about an octave too low. So sorry. I don't know what an. Isn't that an eight sided object? Okay. An octave? Got it. So, I did stitch. <laughs> Let's get to the stitching. Back to the stitching. Nothing is falderalling. Falderalling. Okay. It's just a ribbon. It's just a ribbon. All right, fine. I'm going to get bunked with this. So, when I went to the retreat, I thought I'm just bringing one thing. So, I brought the, which at the time was the Erica. <laughs> so, I put in, on this very side of the A, I put in 18 stitches and took out all but four. That's <laughs> but still pretty, if you got a retreat. net gain, that's pretty productive for a retreat. And then that's when, uh, I think Mona, and was um, confirmed by a couple other gals, said, oh, you don't bring anything with to a retreat that you have to count. You just bring in filling stitches. And I noticed they all had, like, houses they were filling in, or grass. So I learned, you know, that's a yeah. retreat is for learning too. So oh, yeah. I love this. So when I got home. I love I, the bunting on the top. Yeah, I do too. And that's with, oh, I suppose I should tell you the stats, huh? Let me see. I don't have them. That is, I think it's 28 count. Khaki. Khaki. Lugano. Yes. Because I'm using three strands of floss which is going through quite smoothly because the e the weave is an even weave and it's real stable okay so, yeah so once again perfect x's i'm just getting over my love hate relationship with steph and her perfect x's mm -hmm. pam also perfect x's brenda handwork maniac perfect x's all of you that make those perfect x's please message me please hit me up in my dms and let me know how you get those perfect x's because you come up in the bottom and you go down in the other corner then you come up in the other bottom and you go down in the other corner it's an x uh, yours are perfect you're just being are you done <laughs> i can't talk to you when you're like this um no mine are not perfect and you know i'm not a fast stitcher no i linger and you know like whatever and I don't know. I don't know. Very nice. Well, thank you, but it's just the next tribute to America. It's just um, yeah. We should have t-shirts made. Okay. So then, what did I do? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Thank you for being my board girl. Because sure. Thanks for being my Vanna. Um, this is called Harvest Blessings by Stony Creek. I had to get a different fabric. 
because <laughs> the piece that I showed on the last video wasn't even close to the size or the count to do whatever. Oh, fun. So this is the piece. I really like that. And I chose to do it on Seraphim 36 count Tobias oh. with Gast, which is Gentle Art Sampler Threads, Brick Half. Mm. So mm -mm -mm -mm. I did the leaves in Brick Path, but I did, oh, the orgasmic <laughs> swirls. God, I love those swirls. She loves her whoops. Yeah, oh. I did the swirls in, um, I don't know, 433. DMC. DMC. Because I noticed with this thread, it's like very, very brown, then a green, very, mm -hmm. very brown. So I didn't want my swirls to be all brown and then have a small batch of green and then brown. I didn't yeah. think it would look right. So I went Colors with a are... solid, I think it matched really, yeah. really well with this dye lot. And that now, fabric is just gorgeous. Now here's the real question. Okay. I don't think I want to do the pumpkin in the variegate over dyed because knowing what it's like, see, Jane. You can't see at home, so it'll be striped. It's gonna, you're and gonna blocky. get, you're gonna get all mm -hmm. the way across, and it's gonna be brown. Then you're gonna come all the way across, and it's gonna be brown with a little spot of green. And so, um, I don't know. We can talk when we're lunching of what color you think the pumpkin should be, because I do have a three eight five eight, which is a little bit. Um, I'll say pink. It's got a pink tinge to it. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if, I don't know, but I did decide that I will do the ship in the over dyed and I will do the leaf in the over dyed. And I believe I must, opposites, I mistook this at a glance. <laughs> For a rabbit. I like why I, I also was like, why is there a bunny for Thanksgiving? I think I'm gonna put a band, a little cross stitch band for the oh, for a headband. For a headband for her feather headdress. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise that might be a hair confusing. <laughs> See what I did there? You are you're so funny. Terrible. You're so funny. <laughs> so yeah, so that I did enjoy that. Yeah, I did fancy. Beautiful. You know how you say fancy cut? I did fancy stitch that because if you show it again, if you'd be so kind, the one strand I took of the over dyed seemed to be all green. Mm -hmm. There was one strand out of or one hank out of the five. The one I chose was almost all green. So then I did, I kind of, if you could tell, I kind of did the green over here yep. and try to and balance kind of it out. It. Of, yeah, I didn't cut the floss, but I chose which, when I was going to use that um, thread length yeah. again. What a great idea. So, I don't know. I, I had to stop on that because I wanted a consult on I what just, I would do the, the pumpkin in. Well, so. um, <clears throat> when we're uploading and after we've had lunch, let's come in here and grab some of the bins of overdyed. Because there's color and cotton, there's weeks, and there's a combination of general art and oh, for an classic over, color. Choose an over dyed yeah. floss. Yeah. Okay, maybe we can find yeah. an over dyed that is just primarily browns or some not bringing Something a whole with different not a lot color. Of contrast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm up for it. that. Okay. I'm up for that. Yes, ma'am. So. Wow, great. Yeah. So that's kind of like. Oh, I got done for stitching. So, um, what's on my thing? Oh, I forgot to say that. Oh, hold please. Um, when I went home, on my way home from Justine's in Blue Earth, you've got to go. If you take one sixty nine, you go past um, Jordan, the Minnesota largest candy store. 
It's and a magical place. Puzzles. Yeah. Puzzles. Let me tell you. So I um bought you this. It's sealed, mm. but inside, look what's inside. I'm so shaky to oh. Caramels. That's the kind of puzzle I can handle. Yeah. Oh, one, thank you. One piece at a time. That's how we're going to handle that puzzle, right? I just thought the tin was but cute. But it says a serving size is two it, pieces. Oh, a serving size is two pieces. Oh, well, we'll have to put that to the test. But it's in a one container. Yeah. And it's wrapped in one whatever. So it's one, one serving. One serving, right? That, I would think so. We don't need to challenge that. We can make up our own rule on that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I got that and I got um, two puzzles. And they also have fresh um, apple pie, peach pie. Oh, the pies are amazing. But I didn't want to get a whole pie. I mean, it's just Tom and I. But Oh, what a problem to have. <laughs> But, Tom and I would have to eat a whole pie by ourselves. <laughs> oh, no. But, oh, but. Oh, the humanity but. of it all. I don't have a daughter or a friend that I could share any of it with. No, because it like had cinnamon in it, so it would kill Catherine. I'm not so. allergic to cinnamon. Oh, that's true. So what I did. Out of sight, out of mind, people. They just <laughs> brought out little, like, six by nine little, um pans of warm apple crisp out of the oven so i did buy that and the smell on the way home in the car was like yeah. i should have picked up a fork yeah. but yeah so i did do that there's actually a pie crew in the store making mm -hmm. fresh pies yep as you browse through yeah like the wonderland it smells amazing yeah in there. and like i said the puzzles and the root beer selection and then all the box like um, dip mixes and stuff like that. So it's not just what did candy. You say? Uh, the box dipped mixes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do we have to have a talk later? <laughs> did I say something inappropriate? Oh, Jane. Oh my gosh. So. Can I have, oh wait. <laughs> can I have my face back? No. I don't know if I want to give you your face back. If you use it appropriately. <laughs> And, I, and then I have one more thing I worked done. <clears throat> and now, excuse me, because I have to loosen my knobs, and you know how that makes me feel. I don't want you to have a stroke. Don't take them off. No, I won't, because they're round, and they'll roll all over the place. But this is what I did. Oh, my gosh. Now, this is the sheet virtues that I picked up when I was at Shepherd's Bush on my mystery vacation. Little House Needleworks. It's Little House Needleworks Sheep Virtues. And I oh, wow. I did this one. Friendship. Not <laughs> this, this again. Oh, wait. oh, I can't lean over. It's the other side. Dang this camera. And then I did Kindness. Am I, oh. am I on? Yep, just up a little. Kindness. Oh. And now I'm starting love. Exciting and new. Okay, so what I'm going to do, for those of you who might not have seen that episode, I'm putting them on a spool. Um, I saw it was Vanna Pfeiffer who did a finish for somebody on a spool. So I'm going to do, I picked out, um, I think, ten. It's quite long. It's going to be really long to wind around. But I picked out 10 of the sheet virtues that I liked. Um, and I'm working right now on the love. Shaky. I might and have to pick some of those up. I think I, I think I have gratitude. And that's the only one that I have. And I'm not, I'm not going to put the buttons on because I think that would make for a lumpy roll. So I'm not, I don't like. I have some of those. So that, that does conclude my limited stitching. And if I might add, oh, I hate when my knobs get tight. <laughs> I can't do this. It's a problem. Put this aside. Um, this, yes, is so, this is so, this is so, yeah, because I'm having an issue. Okay. Okay. I got you. So thank you. 
this is so subtle in colors I was like this is boring because look at you've got a gold that looks like a brown that looks like the tan that looks like the and the green that look you're using 3011 3012 you're I'm like you're it's like you're using the same colors but the intrigue for me is that it is so subtle that it is yeah. just so stunning so it is it, it is quite just amazing. intriguing that each one you finish and you take a little step back and hold it away you go wow did that ever just blend just black butter love it i'm really having fun with it i yeah you are really the knob master aren't you master of the knob keeper of the orbs my god we're gonna have to get you a crown <laughs> and one of those things a scepter yeah I like Here. it. Oh, that's right. You like yours a little looser because you you stitch it. You want. That's okay. At least they're wrong. Because you. I sew. So mm -hmm. I stab and poke. <laughs> but yeah. I have to look at the little sheet butt one more time. Yep, I didn't oh, change it. So even though it's backwards, because 2023 <sighs> Julie is just women with the current that's not super straight so you'll have to no it never was to begin with so okay. it isn't your fault okay so now i'll put that down here because i'm done with that <clears throat> clunk all right now what well this is do you have any July. finishes to share um do you i do have a couple finishes um i do have finishes this finish is a mystery finish I know not where it comes from. It's been in my drawer for about, I might say 18 years, <laughs> with its block of wood. Oh my goodness. So it's just this little, I don't know, it was on a card, so I'm assuming it is like a Lizzie and Kate, or maybe is it, uh, oh, so who is it? I, I, I don't know. Little buttons. It's beautiful. And then I, I put, but I'm not happy and it's a learning thing and it's okay to learn it look at the ribbon i don't know if you use hot glue you're going to have like that worm thing and if you use i use modge podge and the ribbon absorbed it and it looks splotchy well it looks like maybe it's um been hand dyed because the blue shows oh, through from the block a, that's a nice save no i i was so I disappointed it I just think it looks blotchy. But you know, you're not going to know unless you try. Maybe if my ribbon wasn't so, th it was more of a thin ribbon and it absorbed and it was that transparent. Really, really but it cute. was cute. And I and I did like the knob. Yeah. It was a fun thing. But I oh. know not where it came. <laughs> Give that back. And then, oh my gosh. This is going to be so exciting for me because I haven't seen it since I wrapped it. <laughs> I finished the little red schoolhouse. Oh. And, you know, my pillow issues, drama, traumatic drama. <laughs> oh, I Julie. did the um, Bonna Pfeiffer, it's kind of, Bonna Pfeiffer pillow tutorial oh, um i think gosh. i even wrote it which um on my other bonna pfeiffer has a chenille edged pillow tutorial is what oh thank you is what i followed look at that and i did exactly what she said not what i thought she was going to do you know i kind of have that tendency oh i know how to do this but i was never happy and um I wanted to do a two-tone back because I had the two different yeah. fabrics. I was really apprehensive for being a, you know, my first timer. Yeah, my virgin voyage on this. I thought I'm just going to do a, a solid back fabric, not trying to put two fabrics together. So you know how I ordered all of that um, ribbon? Oh, it's going to match, mm -hmm. just perfect. Mm -hmm. It looked, it looked cranberry. It did. Next to this, it purpley, and I'm like, oh. I wanted to do a roost edge, ruched edge in the worst way. 
and I tried some and I didn't like it. I'm like, no, what do I do? I, so I took the fabric, the check, that I wanted to use for half the back, and I stripped, I couldn't strip it. <clears throat> I had to cut, because it was woven. Mm -hmm. So I cut on the weave of it, and I ruched the mm. lengths of fabric strips. And to me, it was perfect. It's perfect. It was, just, I was so oh. pleased. I thought I maybe left a little too wide of a margin border because um, everybody's different. No, I, but I. I love that you gave it some space. Yeah. Like it's framed inside the panel. Yeah, kind of gave it the design. Why am I on a wine kick? I don't drink wine. It gave the design room to breathe. <laughs> What have I been watching? Lifetime? I, I don't think know. I'm going to, I have to do this in blue. Well, you told me that this morning, right? Yeah. That, well, tell them what you said. I was watching um, Sarah, Sarah Suchi Spot. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And at the beginning of her episode, she was sharing finishes that other folks had sent her to share. And she shared a photo of someone who had done it in blue. A variegated blue and made a flat fold out of it and it was like Ch Jane see goes. Julie there are such things as blue schoolhouses <laughs> you don't know you don't know that they were all red yeah so she said she took no time sent me in my spot board I don't even think I was all the way through the kitchen no no I'm just Julie but yeah Julie <laughs> Guess I got what? something to tell you <laughs> but this was really fun it's gorgeous and I was really nervous about the whole process but I just stopped and did what she said and you have to give it plenty of time and really work the stuffing and the key is the interfacing I never interfaced my back fabric you ha it that's what gave it that smooth back because you didn't it, yeah wow. I now am not so freaked out about doing pillows that okay, I, I, I will, yeah, I mind. will try some more. Not be freaked out about. So, and then, not to be a, just like a finish hog, but I did. <gasps> <laughs> I just, I had, I didn't stitch for 10 days. You know, we we're still trying to wrap our head around the loss of Tom's brother. I, I would sit at night and I'm like, I, I can't, I can't look at a pattern. I don't want to thread a needle. So what I did is I finished my 12 days of um, Christmas and I finished stretching all the... And remember when I texted you in a panic that I lost my three French hens? I texted yeah. her and I said, I lost my three French hens. They're nowhere to be found. They took off with the two turtle doves. <laughs> and so, yeah. So now they're all wow. laced and stretched, and the real question now is, how am I going to continue to really f f f f f f o them? I don't know. I I still mm. undecided. So that too will be a, a day maybe over pie. Um, That's just the perfect red. Yeah, and as the, Julie calls it, ho ho red. No, it, this really isn't ho ho. Ho ho is like the cherry red. I think this is like the. This is why she's the designer <laughs> and I'm just plain Jane. Ho ho to me is the 666 or the 341. This is 815, so it's more like a cranberry, not a ho ho. But yeah, you don't need I, a DMC card. You just call Julie and you're like, yeah, I'm looking for. It's not quite a ho ho ho, but it's not quite a cranberry, but it's not like, ah, oh, DMC 321. Or 349's got a little bit more of an orange tinge or to it. Or 40. So, but yeah, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But yeah, so now I have to find what's holding me up on the finishing with my idea is I have to find an edging. I don't oh. know. Uh, you know, there again, it's red, it's a little too orange, it's, you know, I'm, uh, anyways. So I'm still, it is what it is. I'm still oh, I'm itchy. It. So, well, so that's what I have for finishes. How about you? What you got? Oh, okay. Sorry, y'all. I took a shower for Julie. Because <laughs> um, I hadn't seen her for a month. And I'm all itchy. Drink some water. Maybe, Maybe you need to hydrate. I know I do. I lose my voice otherwise. 
So drink out of your poo cup. We got poo cups. Aren't they fun? My God, our mug game is strong, isn't it? It's so much fun. Her inside is blue. My poo jacket is red. Yeah, I saw no, these. Eeyore. Eeyore's like. Yeah. <coughs> oh, my God. Excuse heavens. So. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. How are you? We sure did miss you, Jane. <laughs> oh, Tell yeah. her we miss her. Ay, ay, ay. I think I've, I still got some more greetings. Do you? Yeah. Oh, we're, we're still, we're still taping. Aren't we? Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> what time are we at? Um, okay, just a second. Don't you know how to use the binoculars? Is there an upside down and a right side up to them? Well, now you look like a filmer. <laughs> oh, well. Still Here, well, we'll still go. It's still going. Okay. okay, this is I with... I to take you away. This is with thy needle and thread. The robins are here oh. by Brenda Gervais. I could pillow that. Couldn't yeah. I? No. Yeah. It came with all the stuff to pillow. Yeah. And here is... Oh, fun. Oh, he's so tiny. Why did I picture him so big? Here is my finish. If you're triggered by wrinkles, look away. Yeah. <coughs> Ready? Picture it in your mind. Fine. Don't look up. I've been nerd. Aren't they cute? Exactly. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Oh, they're darling. They're so petite and cute. Oh, now I kind of really want a pillow bag for you. Mm. Can I take that home? <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Yeah, sure. You can take it home if you want. Okay. It came with the backing and some little cute rickrack and a little oh, some little charms. charms and mm. fun, fun, fun. Yep. Fun, fun. And then you were gonna do this too, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. You let me know, and then I've got the. Oh, the threads, yeah. and you use the threads as is? I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can keep those it's still It's a combination bundled. of DMC and Fancy Floss. Okay. We can maybe um, keep those still bundled. And then I also finished, this is Goodness and Grace by oh. Shepherd's Bush. I'm and really anxious to see that. See, again, why did I think that was so big? Because it takes up the whole monitor screen. Oh, isn't that just charming? Yeah, it was um, a, lot a of wonderful work, stitch. Yes. But a lot of stitches. Yeah, it's a lot of stitches. Uh, don't let those fool you. Oh, I no. love that. And what were you going to do with that? That also came with... <gasps> oh, another um, pillow. Yep, yeah, backing... Uh, hand dyed silk ribbon for ruching. Ruching? To get your ruch on? Mm -hmm. I know I could do the pillow and you could do the ruching because you wanted to ruch. You're not zoning me out again, are you? <laughs> Did you still miss me? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, and I had I did some heart anger. Do you want to see yeah, some heart anger? I do. She got a bang. And this is um, Sophie. This is one of Julie's designs. And I'm doing the monstrous long Sophie. The never ending. The mega. Yeah, the mega <laughs> Sophie. And um, I did a little more plain wrap. Oh. That is just beautiful. Make sure I have the right end so I can show you. <laughs> it's a lot of fabric, y'all. It is. Oh. <laughs> um, I did a little more of the plain oh, in that. In the middle. In, in the that center. triangle right there. Beautiful, beautiful. And beautiful. if you haven't seen it before, oh, she's I, a big girl. She is. She's a very big girl. Yep. I still would like to finish her by Labor Day 
for no other reason than if I don't give myself a deadline, you will see this in episode 55. Um, but I can't believe it's already August. So I can't either. I will do my best. I cannot either. To do it. I just can't believe it's already going to be August. And can August is usually the hot month of the summer. Good gravy. We've had 98 degree days. I can't yeah. imagine. It's been oppressively hot. Yeah. Today is a top 10 weather day, though. It's supposed to be only in the lower 80s and very low humidity. And yeah. I'm yeah. here for it. Yeah, exactly. So is that it for you? Have you no more hard to anger? May I share? Sure. <laughs> what are you going to say? No. No, not today. Well, I'm just going to um, oh my. show once again. This is the new box. I did a new box. I like the finish on this box better. This is the... Um, Quaker Hardinger Box Beginning Class that I'm teaching at Welcome Stitchery. And inside, um, oh, there's little feet on the bottom because I, I love feet. But inside, it's um, finished with the two fabrics. And? And I made a little pillow, just a little pin pillow. And I ruched that's what I practiced the Vana Pfeiffer technique on. <laughs> it's beautiful. So, yeah. So, um, here's the information where I will be. It is um, the Beginning Hardinger Quaker Box class. Saturday, September 30th, I believe, is full, but they have a wait list because you never know if someone um, is unable to attend. So we opened up a class on Sunday, October 1st, and there are spots available in that. It's in Blue Earth, Minnesota at Welcome Stitchery, um, a, a really great cross-stitch shop owned by Justine. <coughs> mm. And they have a floss tube, Welcome Stitchery, as well. She yeah, says, we'll watch them. hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Justine. Yeah. As does hi, Shelley, Shelley says hi. As does Sam says hi. hi. Sam. And yeah, all the girls say hi. So, um, we went to, Catherine and I went to the Welcome Stitchery open house that Justine had, and we were vendors. She had a couple of vendors there. So, um, I had been spending a couple of weeks getting all of my product. You know, what am I going to bring? I had a, a limited space. She gave me a nice space, but, you know, you're not setting up a 10 by 10 share. booth. Yeah, had a, had a, um, what I was going to bring, what I still had left in stock. So, uh, the Wednesday before, um, Tom and I had spent the day up at the hospital. Tom's mom was in the hospital, and we were sitting there in the late afternoon, and she was enjoying her piece of chocolate cake and um, baked potato. That's what I don't know. That <laughs> sounds really her. good right now. A gal that loves carbs. And she said, now tell me what you and Catherine are bringing um, for the show. And I said, I started listing off some things of, of the different designs I was going to bring in our fobs and our bags and whatnot. And she said, I just hope you sell it all. And I said, I do too, you know. So we were excited. I didn't want to go, but she said, no, no, you go. Just, you know, sell it all and have a good time. So Tom and I had left um, early evening and we went home and it was... I think we were home for 15 or 20 minutes and the hospital called and said that she passed away. So. Right I, after eating her chocolate <laughs> cake and her baked potato. I'm like, I don't want to go. And Tom goes, no, you and Catherine. We were packed. Yeah. He said, no, you're going. You're going. I'll be fine. You girls go. So when Catherine came, she was going to drive. All along, she was going to drive because she said she doesn't like the way I drive. So I'm like, well, then you can drive my car. And so she, um, on the way down, she goes, so am I supposed to call you Julie or am I supposed to call you Mom? And I just said, you know what, why don't you call me Julie? Because I don't want to be a mom. I don't want to be a daughter-in-law. I don't want to be a grandma. She goes, I don't want to be a daughter. I don't want to be a granddaughter. I don't want to be a mom. Let's just yeah. be two girls on a road trip because we could not. 
we couldn't think about it or we'd crumble, you know. Yeah. So we were Catherine and Julie on the road, and um, we got there and set up. Everybody was so kind and so... Hi. hi. So many gals said, tell Hello. Jane hi. I hi, think everybody. I'm getting towards the end, but okay, yeah, good. we sure miss her, and they, they just all kind of were having... Um, just a great time. There were like 16 or 17 women stitching in the stitching area, shopping. Oh, Everybody was kind of a bustle with whatever. I would go shopping. Catherine is actually going to start cross-stitching. Yes, insert emoji here. And um, her and Justine's daughter, Sam, like Justine had mentioned on her video, two peas in a pod. Shelly, and Catherine, I don't know if we can survive against Shelly and Catherine. And Justine no, would be formidable, I think. laughs, laughs, laughs. It was wonderful. Um, really well received. So um, here's, here's a question that you might want to know. Did I sell everything? <laughs> I literally sold everything because Justine bought all my inventory. So I left it all in Blue Earth and um, J Designs publications are now available exclusively from welcomestitchery.com. Um, you can go to um, their website. And the store. And the store. Absolutely. Type J Designs in the search bar and my publications come up. You can call them at the number listed. Justine and her fabulous staff will be more than happy to get you whatever you need for my projects and everything else they have in that store. Wow. Well, you know, every shop has its own um, flair, its own tone, a reflection of what, you know, mm -hmm. the shop owner of the area likes. This has got such a variety of things, patterns, designers that I'd never seen before. Oh, wow. And um, needlepoint, diamond art, fabric, 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 fibers. So they will be more than happy to get you and and pull fibers and kits for you, whatever you choose. So oh, that's a wondrous place. Yeah. So it was really a trip and a half. Um, yeah, it really was to go back with nearly an empty cart. Yeah. So. Oh, exciting. Yeah. Now a, a new chapter for both of you. Yes, yes. I could not have left it in better hands. So thank you, Justine. It's just a uh, great little partnership we've got going here, yeah. besides being um, great friends. Fun. What oh, floss tube exciting. will do. How floss tube brings people together. Yeah. It is a really great community. You know, um, not only, oh, I watch yours, you watch mine, but you've made friends. I've, 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 yeah. been, I've been a pest to people. <laughs> Julie was off, you know, like living her dream or whatever. <laughs> and, you know, I'm on Instagram going, hi, I don't know if you know me, but I'm a Jane part of Jane and Julie. And I'm just stopping in your Instagram DMs to tell you what a big fan I am, you know, and whatever. And I'm sure people are like, they chain. were thrilled. Chain. No. So I um I went a little crazy and if um if I was a pest, I apologize no. for being a pest. But um it it does seem I was trying to explain to my husband because he was like, Why would they want to hear from you? Oh. And I'm like, right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I said it's really hard to explain. Um, and I'm sure it's it's the same maybe in the the photography um, community, although that can be fairly competitive. Uh, but in the floss tube community, I was trying to explain to him, you through floss tube and Instagram, you feel legitimately close to people that you've never met mm -hmm. before, and that you've maybe not even messaged. Mm -hmm. um, and you have genuine affection for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can honestly say. Um, you know, I've messaged with Leslie from Fat Cat Flossing and Carol Saltbox Stitcher a little bit and um, Jenny and Nancy from the Bougie Stitchers and they've all been so kind mm -hmm. and welcoming and we exchange messages 
and it's like oh, I have some new friends. Yeah. You know, I'm um, I'm housebound, so I it's really not safe for me to leave the house except for medical appointments. Um. Anyway, so I'm like a little bit isolated, so I can't go out to a retreat, or to a bar, <laughs> or a strip club, or uh, anyway. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, I know those were the good old days. <laughs> those were really were the good old days. Um, and so this um, floss tube and the floss tube community have just um, offered up such a great um, channel or opportunity for me to connect with other people and some of you one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. And I, so. I told Jane, I have two really good friends on Facebook that I've known for over nine years and I've never met either one of them you know, from the birth of their children or the, the death of their spouse or, you know, it's like you really connect with people on yeah. a level that you really wonder if you would if you met them in real life, so. It's hard to say, yeah. isn't it? Can I, I want to share, oh, we're so off top. Well, no, we're not off topic. We're just, we don't have fabric in our hands. I had to tell you a quick story. I was so distraught. The funeral was on Tuesday, and I was just all out of sorts. I didn't know what day it was or anything. I said, I'm going to go run some errands. I, I wanted to go to the thrift store because that's like my zen place to go. And I needed to get some groceries because um, we had sour cream and three eggs. So it was time to stock up. So I just... I threw on some play clothes and I just left. To do something normal. Yeah, so I'm, I'm at Cub, right? And I'm in the produce department. And, and I stop my cart and this, this lovely woman is standing there. And she goes like this. She goes. And I'm like. Is she um, having a seizure? What's going I'm on? I'm wearing my t-shirt with the heartbeat oh. needle thing on. Yeah. And then I smiled and she said, I just got a zip project bag with that um, design on the front of it. And I said, um, my daughter makes those. And she went, Julie? She said, I didn't recognize you. I said, of course not. I got everyday hair and no makeup. She goes, no, actually, it's because you weren't sitting next to Jane. <laughs> I just giggled. You should be like, oh, I know you from somewhere, but I can't quite place it. Oh, does this help? So I was giggling and she giggled and we chatted a little bit, you know, and then we both went on our own way. So when I got home, of course, I called Catherine and I told her this story and she's laughing. And she oh, said, right. she said, Mom, you were spotted out in the wild. <laughs> Oh, but I'm that's just so like, great. she didn't, and I didn't have my eyebrows on. That's probably why she didn't recognize me. But I just thought when she went like this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got that shirt on. So oh, Kathy goes, I'm going to have awesome. to wear my shirt like that then, too. So, that is, oh, that's yeah, awesome. It was fun. It was really fun. So thank you, Marilyn. It was a pleasure meeting you um, in the produce aisle. <laughs> At Cub Foods Valley West. <laughs> oh, that's so, so great. Yeah, it was fun. So now, what do we have got to talk about? Oh, my gosh. Delightful been, deliveries. Oh, my. Do you have any delightful I deliveries? I do have. Well, do tell. Deliveries. Do tell, do show. Um, before we get to delightful deliveries, oh, we have had some very generous people reach out to us mm -hmm. um, through our email and make some very delightful donations. Yes. So thank you to um, Colleen and Lucy and Wendy for sending some things our way. Um, we will uh, find good homes for them. Yes. And I, I have received emails and direct messages through Instagram for folks that have um, abandoned Shepherd's Bush things, wondering if they could send them to me. I am glad to be the Humane Society for <laughs> Shepherd's <rescue>. Bush. <laughs> yep, the rescue for Shepherd's Bush. So um, thank you all very much. We will find good homes yes. for everything we promise. Yes. We don't know just how and when yet, but we will do them. So we really appreciate you thinking of us mm -hmm. and um, thinking of being generous to others and letting us help you yep. do that. Spread so, the yeah. joy. So thanks again to Colleen and Lucy and um, Wendy. And um, this has been such a long hiatus for us. We do want you to know if we didn't 
mention you or we did not we've had a lot of people contact us it's been a blur and um, we apologize that for that but we do want to thank everyone who has reached out to us it really Definitely. does it really does um, just, means the world yeah it really, really makes us really just uh, no words so um, yeah. so now now we do Delightful Del deliveries. That was delightful donations. Now we have delightful deliveries. Yes. Aren't we just a joy? Yes, we are. So one of the delightful deliveries is the July um, color and cotton. And this is 36 count milk and tea. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful brown. Oh, it is. It's got a little tinge of yeah, what rose. is it? Yeah. It's not pink, it's like rose. Yeah. Oh. And then here my. are that the July no color and cotton um, threads. Beautiful. Yeah. Just beautiful. I love that fabric. Yeah, I am. Um, I might have an idea of something to put it on, which might be the next thing. We'll have to take a look. Yep. Put that away later. I can't do it. <laughs> um, and then I saw this and had to order it right away. This is Teresa Colgate Wisdom. Oh and I just, I loved it. And it says, "'Tis not fruitful to lift one up by belittling another." Um, and it says, "'Be harmonious, do not judge, lest you be judged. Kindness is wisdom. Love wow. one another. Wow. So not only is it a great message, but I just, I love the, love design. the design. Yeah. I do too. And then I went ahead and got the, um, it calls for DMC and classic color work. So I went ahead and granimaled it while I was on one, two, three stitch. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited to, um, Start it, and I wonder if, oh, if that fabric would work. The potential. Oh. Maybe we'll have to look. Yeah. To see if that will work. Yeah. And then, mm. um, Heavenly Days. <laughs> Buckleberry Quilts, Miss <laughs> Judy. God, it really is scary sometimes. It isn't is. it? <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, sorry to step in on your thunder, but yeah. look at this. Yeah, it's just I can't believe crazy. that we both got them. Buckleberry Quilts oh. on Instagram and Etsy, and I will link her below. And then the insight and the and the ribbon and everything yeah. is And look how beautifully she fussy oh. cut the back so that you had lots of you'd have lots of whole Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. You know, amulets in there. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I just made it. I, I just, like that word, though. You know, the thingies that the flowers go in, brooches or whatever. But then, <sighs> look at this. I can't even. I can't even. No, seriously, I can't. You're killing me, Judy. Yes. Killing me softly with her bags. Look at that. Oh, and the lining. Oh, oh, but the, oh, but that blue. Oh. Is that oh, not just too much? Just, yeah. Um, I did see something very, very alarming on her Instagram account this morning. Mm. Blue bags in the shop this afternoon. And look what we're doing. Judy. We're 11 hours into our video. I'm sure we've missed them. We probably have. It is getting dark, isn't it? I know. <laughs> There's either a storm rolling in or it's turning into Sunday. I'm I'm sorry, but where do you even draw the line? I'm sure. I'm Maybe. sure we should have drawn the line like an hour ago, but I know. it's too late. Now. Well, and I told Jane, it's almost like we've been watching so much baseball. It's like the seventh inning stretch. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? We need exactly. a break. What about you? Well, <clears throat> besides the beautiful Buckleberry Quilt Bay, um, when I was at the retreat, um, the one day retreat, 
D, who sat next to me, oh, what a gal to sit next to. She had made and brought to oh, sell to whoever beautiful. wanted. Beautiful. This one is yours. I bought this oh, for you. Oh, thank you, Julie. And then I Look at that did black um, fabric. I I got this one. Oh, gorgeous. Yep. And she made little oh, little zipper fobs to go on there. And then at the second um, at the open house, oh, she you. gave me a matching thread bed. But she didn't have one left in your color, so. Oh. But, yeah. Oh, it's but so isn't that beautiful. cool? Yeah. So now I've got more project base beautiful than work, I have projects. Just beautiful. Yeah, just beautiful. Thank you. And just a fun gal. Catherine and her got wow. along real well. She, Catherine really, and she had her booth next door. She doesn't have an Etsy shop. She just, she sells at, um, like, a events. Quilt, quilt events and, um, and stitching oh, events locally. So, so many talented people. Yes. Just amazing. Yes. Um, it was my turn, right? I'm not stepping on you, am I? Are you done? Yep, yeah. I'm done. Okay. Um, I just have, okay, this bag. I haven't even looked at it. This is from when I was at the retreat with Shelia and EJ. Um, so she gave us each um, sunshine stitcher floss tags. Oh. So these are for Beautiful. You. Oh, are thank you, Sheila yeah. and EJ. So, um. Oh, I love that. And I, <laughs> this is, I haven't looked at this since I got back. So I got this. Now, this is what Pam, Pam is, is doing, doing for Pam's survival yeah. sale. Yeah. I, I don't, no. I'm way behind. I'm not salable, yeah. but I really liked that pattern. Yeah. I got it too. I don't know what colors I'm going to do it in yet, but and it's then, a beautiful piece. Um, I had never heard of the Mojo Stitches, and that was a charming little red sampler that I just yeah. thought I, you know, maybe I'll do it on like 52 count or something. Over one. Yeah, over one. You could just ten yeah. stitch it. And then. Oh, that's funny. I, when you were showing me that, That's I'm like, funny. when she was showing hers, I'm like, I really, I really like that too. Did I get it? Did I not? And now I see that I did get it. So we could maybe do a yeah. stitch along. <laughs> yes, we could. <laughs> oh, and then this, at Nevermore by, I don't know who. Lila Studio. Lila Studio. That was a model that Justine had in the shop. And oh, I'm that like, is so cool. I'm, they did not have the fabric, but I'm going to get the fabric that she stitched it on. And I don't even know what it was. I They might have changed it. But it was this oh, smoky, smoldering great. gray, you know, to go on my black sure. wall. Sure. And then um, Shelia came back and show and tell, show and tell. And she had gotten this book. Have you seen this no. one by Hands On Designs? No. And and like I think the whole entire classroom got up and left her. <laughs> Where's everybody there going? Because we all had to go and get it. So this is oh. really, yeah. That that's got a lot of things in it. So boy, was this one for me because I forgot wow. what I had bought. I just simply put it in my bin. A lot of different things. The ones on the back, gals are doing for exchanges. No, that's not it. Um, you said on the back. I know, but I don't know what I speak. I don't know what, I've, I, what I'm talking about. Let me see. These. It was the second to the last. Oh. Yeah, I can that's show okay. that. Those. They're on perforated paper. And then you put the little grommet thing in there. Yeah. And look, you put the little felt but some oh, gals are cool. making those for exchanges at the, I guess you exchange stuff too at these retreats. Is that oh, not cool? that is very cool. Yeah, so it was a really fun book and I had to have it. So I got up and got that as well. Oh, don't forget your mojo. Okay. And then this is, um, these are from Justine. Aren't they cool? Oh, yeah. Oh. They are cool. They've got all sorts of little things like this oh. there that you just have to have. Nice. So we can choose those. And then, um, these are from D. This was, oh, D. this is from the, um, 
from the set from the open house retreat. Oh, thank Jetties. you, Dee. And I've not ever used these, so they're very handy. So I think I'm gonna try yeah. that. Although I like to bobbinate my floss, I don't like to cut it. But I, I might well, try it on a project. Well, maybe for some of your um, variegated. Yes, yes, yes. It could be that. So then. Um, this is the Stitchery Welcome Open House. Justine had a designer stitch something for her grand opening. She had um, hands-on design stitch one for her first anniversary. This year, um, Autumn Lane Stitchery designed this for her. For Welcome Home. Welcome to our home. Isn't that cute? That's beautiful. Way cool. That one is yours. Oh, thank and you. And then this one, of course, is mine. The colors are very bold. I like and I, it. And I do like it. It was finished very like cute it. on a slat board. Oh. And then Catherine, our loyal viewer and my loving daughter, she was perusing the shop. Her and Sam were, you know. And she goes, Julie. <laughs> Oh, Do you think you could stitch this one for me? And I'm like, oh, sure. Great. And then by I'm the end of Shannon the Wasseliff. by the Shannon end of Christine the weekend, Designs. as we were getting ready to get in the car, Justine and Sam and Catherine and I were talking, and one of the gals gave them each a, a free hand chart, chart handout that they got at market, and Sam was going home with a little kit to stitch and. Catherine took one, and I'm like, mm, you know, you're gonna stitch, and she goes, yeah, I'm gonna get, oh, great. I'm gonna go to the hob lob and get some, <laughs> get some thread, and then uh, I said I had fabric. I'm sure I have fabric, and then she, goes, <laughs> she if you don't, I'm sure I do. And then she said, and then I guess all I need, she told Justine, is one of those pins with a hole in it. <laughs> so Funny. rock on. Miss Catherine, for learning yeah. something new, you know. Speaking of pins with the hole in it, I um, was uh, influenced by Christy of the Floss Boss and Cousins, and I went out and I purchased some pony black needles. And here's what I love about them. The eye is a different color <laughs> than the rest of the needle. So my um, success rate at successfully finding the end with the hole in it on the first try is a little better. Good. than it was before. I She gave me a package and I've not yet used them. Yeah, I, I like them so far. They're light. They're not nickel. Um, are they plastic? I don't know what they are. Hmm. But um, I tend to wear the finish off of needles. And oh. then I, I have a really weird texture issue with my fingers. Thank you, Grandma Nett. I'll tell you that story some other time. And so I'm always throwing them away. It would be interesting to see how the finish wears on this, or yeah. more if they're solid all the way yeah. through. Yeah, I, I mean it's almost this isn't it, but it's I mean it's almost like they have a Teflon coating. Mm -hmm. They slide through the back of the um, my stitching like butter. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to try that. Um, I ha also had another fan, uh, Hardinger fan, Deidre and her husband Gary. I hope I didn't get that mixed up. They had a, a vendor table across from us, and he made beautiful um, wood boxes, very, very beautiful boxes. And she made um, this, look at this kind of project, kind of like a portfolio thing. Look at thing that. That she, she had made with a zipper in the clear, but yet a pocket. Oh, how, what, how clever. Yeah, this one has a pocket. Am I on? Yep. And then this has the zipper. And it's quilted, and it's it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. Thank you. It was very pretty. Oh, and a magnetic, so, and a magnetic closure. closure. Oh, I like that better than Velcro. Yeah. Oh, so it was work. so much fun to see everybody, um, what they had to offer, and the sure. workmanship, and how talented everybody is um, creating things. And then, okay, I have one last thing. I can leave it till next time, but I really don't want to. So we need to start it. fresh next time. Okay, this, this is, is scary. Freaky. This is it, really scary. Oh my God, she sent me through. <laughs> this is unbelievable. You sent me through Instagram, Instagram 
this picture of this Jan Hicks piece that somebody had done in this blue. beautiful variegated blue. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is stunning. Almost, I said, I wonder what that was. I'm thinking in my own head. I'm wondering what that would look like in red because that pattern just was stunning. God. This is the pattern I chose. Remember I told you about oh, God, that? It's just freaky. Oh, this is. This is. I was going through Justine's shop going, I want to buy something. I've got more than I could ever use. I, and what a great name, Place of the Winds. Yes. But I Palace thought, oh, this is so cool. So then I walked down and I was showing Catherine and Deidre, Deidre and, and D, all the D people. And I'm like, look at this. And I had picked Justine to help me pick out some fabric. And then we went over and I was looking for some um, fancy thread over dyes. And she said, how about if you try these? Classic color works. I was wrong. I called it color and cotton. I was so confused, but I feel better now. But you know... To me, I get those mixed up. It's classic color works. I'll try my French. Belle Soir. That's about as French I get besides fries. And is this the fabric? Is yes. And so, oh my gosh. But I, like I was that. telling, the fabric is um, Winter 36 Brew. 36 count Winter Brew yep. by R&R. &R. So here's the thing. That was uh, not the fabric we started with. But I had the fabric, and we pulled some reds, and and I went and showed D, and she goes, "Oh, that's everybody liked it." So I'm back, and then D comes back into the shop, and she's like, "Oh, let's look what they had. What they had." I kind of liked. We were concerned about there not being enough contrast between the two reds, so we looked again, and we looked again, and as it turned out, it's not showing as beautiful as it is. It's in gorgeous life. in person. And, and so then oh, all of a sudden we're looking at different fabric. And then we bring the new fabric choice back and we're looking at different threads. We went like a whole 360 and all of a sudden, you know, I went up to Justine and she goes, oh, that's gorgeous, but that's so not what we started. But the process to work with someone else who gets it, yeah, you know, yeah. because to some people it's just string and cloth. But to get what a the productive color, collab it was, oh, and now this just, blows my mind that just this freaky. is the one that you That's showed so me this freaky. morning in blue. It's delicious in blue, and thank God I got it. That is that is just unbelievable. So I've never worked with this kind of thread, but D assures me it will be the best thing I've ever stitched with. Yours? Yeah, I, I don't know. I've not. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's why. I don't know. I've never stitched with it before. So it should really be um, a challenge. Have you, You've stitched with a number of silks, but you've never ever stitched with no. classic no. color works. Mm -mm. So oh, it's um, beautiful. I don't think I'm quite ready to start it yet, but now I'm just going to drool over the pattern. And oh, that blue. the yeah. blue was just mesmerizing wasn't it yeah and like i said i didn't care i don't yeah. care for blue that much but no, i really like it you don't care for me that much well i don't care for red so there <laughs> are we just a couple of bangs <laughs> so i don't know my bins are empty and i'm overwhelmed i'm really overwhelmed we did it I didn't think we'd make it through. I had I no doubt. I don't know what day it is, but <laughs> or what time it is, but um, we're back and hopefully, <laughs> do you see Sunday in the horizon? Yeah, it's, I think it's <laughs> eleven or twelve hours. <laughs> so I um, we will be back. <clears throat> I hope to God in two weeks. I think now we can, we'll settle down. I hope things settle down. I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah. So, so take it away, Miss. Oh, hi everybody. Oh. So. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <clears throat> so we want to thank you for joining oh. us today and spending eleven hours of your time. Hopefully, you've broken this up into manageable pieces and but gotten something to eat, taken a shower. Hydrate, very important yeah. in the hydrate, heat. Hydrate, hydrate, <laughs> hydrate. Um. 
So yeah, like Julie said, we'll see you again probably in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much for stringing your one more days together so that you could join us today. Let's do it again. So let's remember to give ourselves one more day, just one more, and then another one after that. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. Yes. So let's pinky swear, like we always do, at the end of each episode that we will string those together and meet back here in a couple of weeks mm -hmm. for another adventure together. And until we see you, we wish you nothing but the best, health and happiness, and the abundance of all of the things that make you happy, whether they're stitching related or not. Yeah. So until next time, happy stitching, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Please work quicker. No. Okay. The camera has been notified. We are signing off.